Welcome Game of Thrones fans! Hey, this is me Mark. I'm Anna. And we are here to bring you Episode 9 of Season 2 of Game of Thrones. Yep. A uh, quick recap on the last one. Uh, you remember offhand, then I'll throw in some well, comments on. Well, um, there, there, there was the big things and the small things. But, um, let's see. Cersei, I remember this. Um, Cersei actually did call out Tyrion on having a love with a whore, but <laughs> she brought in Ross yep. instead of, um, shoot. <laughs> You're close. Hmm? Shay. <laughs> shoot Shay, <laughs> got it. <laughs> well. <laughs> you yeah. don't want to shoot Shay, no. do you? <laughs> no, but I get how it's <laughs> similar in names. Oops. Um, um, let's see, but then after uh, Tyrion went to his room, and then he said he liked her, well, loved her. <laughs> yeah. And he's worried about her safety. Mm-hmm. Um, um, talk about the opening of it, uh, with Yara getting the Winterfell. Yeah. And basically yeah. telling Theon, you don't need to be here, you should just go back to the Iron Islands. Yep. He stays, obviously. Who would stay? I don't know who would have stayed in um, Winterfell. Would she yeah, just stay in Winterfell? No, she didn't want to. She thinks it's too dangerous to be there. True. Because he wanted 500 of her men. True. And she says, no, you need to just go back to the Iron Islands. You'll never be able to hold Winterfell. Because yeah. all the families of the north ain't gonna like you, especially yeah. after you know, supposedly killing Brandon Recon. But you know, at the end of the episode, we kicked the whole Brandon Recon alive. My <laughs> theory was right, and I loved it. <laughs> and you loved it. Just, like it took See? it took me like a minute afterwards. I went back and saw the reaction. I'm like thinking, 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 <laughs> thinking. <gasps> Uh, a couple things north of the wall? Uh, yeah. So, um, John is captured, and let's see. Um, so was, um, his name, the other, the other guy? Corrin. Corrin? Corrin? Gonna just relate that to Corrin? He's one of the lead Corrin, rangers. Corrin. Yep, and so that kind of made John think that everyone was, like, killed. Because there's only those two. So, but they're not, obviously. Um, because they found the, because there was another scene where they found the dragon, the obsidian or dragon glass. Yeah. Sam Grenadhead. Mm hmm. But back to the, that whole thing. But um, then Corin pushed John off the edge and then, well, he did it to make. That the wildlings think, yeah, <laughs> you've all watched the episode. <laughs> you know what I'm getting at. It's just, yeah. To try to get the John wildlings. on the side of the wildlings. Yep. The wildlings liking John. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's the plan anyway, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I'm going through these. Uh, Danny and Jorah there at the end. What's Danny want? What's Jorah Dan want? Danny wants to get back her dragons. Because, I mean, as I stated in the previous episode, if you had dragons and somebody stole them, what <coughs> would you do? <laughs> what else would you do? I don't think I'd abandon them. Like, um, what she was wanting to do. Like, just, you know. And I mean, during a war, dragons will probably set your scores higher, even if they're baby dragons. But you know, they'll grow. And judging by how each season's only like 10 episodes, but like the episodes last like a year, and there's going to be 8 seasons, and we're on season 2, and the dragons have been around for about a year, I'm going to say they're going to be like 8 years old by the end of the season, unless some other seasons last longer than eight years. <laughs> I mean, eight years. Do they have a time year? skips or anything like that? Yeah. Okay. Last thing I wanted to touch on is Rob and Talissa. Rob and Talissa. 
Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they finally kissed after my change. After my, um, my, after my chanting, the whole kiss, kiss, kiss thing, which I will do when, I'll only do it whenever it's like the first kiss kind of thing, so, yeah, you'll hear me doing that for, hopefully, um, for, other moments, <laughs> yeah, the, the many other moments. Okay, and we have one question, and this one is also from Judy Thrasher. Actually, the time I wrote this down, he would only commented about an hour ago on the last episode. Um, and I wasn't going to have any questions, but this one kind of fit in uh, the episode coming up. So, what do you think of Tyrion and Cersei's rivalry against each other? Even though they're supposed to be on the same sides. They're on the same sides, but their rivalry... I'd that? say it's a, it's probably a, a little bit above s sibling rivalry because everyone knows what sibling rivalry is. I'd say it's more than me and my sister's rivalry, but and I mean, corporate me and my me and Cora's rivalry is definitely <laughs> up high on the scale scale, but. So they don't like each other. They don't like each other. You think it's appropriate? Even? They got Stannis coming. Yeah. Think it's a good time to be squabbling. No. Especially but over one another's love life. Yeah, <laughs> siblings will be siblings. <laughs> and Drew Thrasher's. Nature. He had the second question too, which I thought was funny because I commented last uh, last um, episode on it. He wants to know: Do my questions make you think? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, one of the things, it, it was on another binge, it was on the bin, my first binge watch thing, it took two episodes to answer the question, um, and then for the last one was the, the shipping one. question, I think, was Yes, his. it took forever because, like, I had to think of every, all of the characters and, like, all of the names, which is kind of difficult because names don't come as fast as faces, I recognize faces, not good with names, but... Let's see. It took like forever, and I forgot about a whole bunch. I forgot about a whole bunch, but yeah, <laughs> like Tyrion and Shay. And then Dad had to mention. Um, Dad had to mention. Sam and Gilly. Sam and Gilly. <laughs> Which was, was your number one he, ship? And he you got that one. They were adorable together. <laughs> they were just adorable. Okay, you ready for episode yeah. nine? I'd be glad to see us have a spike. First, we have to put it there. Our ships are numbered as 10 to 1. Our army are numbered as 5 to 1. Those walls have never been breached. And the men guarding the walls, when they see you, they won't see a liberator. They see a stranger come to set their city on fire. Essence of Nightshade is as dangerous <coughs> as it is. That's like a prison, right? You think you're a hard man? Oh, oh, oh. I know it. <laughs> it's warm in here. We've got beautiful women and good brown ale. Plenty for everyone. And all you want is to put one of us in the cold ground with no women to keep us company. Oh, there's women in the ground. I put some there myself. So have you. You like fucking and drinking and singing. But killing. Killing's the thing you love. You're just like me. Only smaller. And quicker. Someday. Saved by the bell. They 
want to play music with us, let's play drums. You asked them here. 
It was expected of me, as it will be of you if you ever become Joffrey's queen. If my wretched brother should somehow prevail, these hens will return to their cocks and crow of how my courage inspired them, lifted their spirits. And if the city should fall? You'd like that, wouldn't you? The Red Keep should hold for a time. Long enough for me to go to the walls and yield to Lord Stannis in person. If it were anyone else outside those gates, <coughs> I might have hoped for a private audience, but this is Stannis Baratheon. I'd have a better chance of seducing his horse. Do you have any notion of what happens when a city is sacked? No, you wouldn't, would you? If the city falls, these fine women should be in for a bit of a rape. Half of them will have bastards in their bellies come the morning. You'll be glad of your red flower then. When a man's blood is up, anything with tits looks good. A precious thing like you will look very, very good. A slice of cake just waiting to be eaten. Hmm. Ah! Tomorrow, Simone. 
stay at my uncle, and represent the king on the field of battle. No, he's going to see mommy. Oh, coward. I'll be safe here. Stannis won't hurt me. <laughs> Look at me. Stannis is a killer. The Lannisters are killers. Your father was a killer. Your brother is a killer. Your sons will be killers someday. No, no, just is killer. built by killers. <laughs> So you better get used to looking at them. You won't hurt me. No, little bird, I won't hurt you. Come on, you bastards! Get on the ground! Father. Yes, 
said his mother. You will be strong and fierce just like your father. What is she doing? Get the poison out. So where do you want to start? I have no I got some idea. notes on most of everything is right here. It's all the battle, so. Oh, everything's the battle. That's pretty much a quick summary of everything. But. Well, it opened up with uh, Davos and his son talking on the ship on the way in. We had the scene where Pycelle was giving Cersei the uh, nightshade. The essence of nightshade, I think is what he called it. Yep. Nightshade, where he gave some background on that. We had a cool scene between Brown and the Hound Brown before and they heard, uh, before the ships got there. Mm -hmm. They were all drinking. Yep. And what do you think of that? Hound against Bronn. Uh, that I found interesting. Saved by the Bell, though. Yep, Saved by the Bell. I actually watched that. And then Bronn saved the Hound out of the battlefield. Well, what'd you think of uh, Joffrey making Sansa kiss his sword? He's Joffrey. He's just <laughs> being Joffrey. Rude and arrogant. Mm-hmm. Okay, so those were the pre-scenes, I guess is what you call that, before the war before starts. The battle. Empty ship sails out in the Blackwater Bay. Uh, yep. An empty ship. Well, not necessarily not empty. empty, but no men. <laughs> and it's just filled with wildfire. What do you think of that scene? Epic. <laughs> explosions, explosions. Okay, so there they got the fighting going on after that. Stannis still comes and lands because he still has a lot of people. Yeah. He got rid of a lot of people by wiping out the fleet. But he still has men to land on shore. Well, what about Joffrey? What do you think about Joffrey going down? When <laughs> Lancel came out and he's looking around, it's not looking good. Mm-hmm. Retreat. <laughs> yep. Let's see. If it if it weren't for, uh, yeah. If it weren't for Tyr Tywin, yeah, they'd all be dead. Um, and then, um. Tyrion's whole speech worked. Tyrion's speech was a good one. That was the next thing I was going to touch on, actually. And you brought it up, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, pyrophobia. That's the fear. Um, so you were looking it up, even though I told you not to. Awesome. Maybe. Uh, Tyrion. What about the Hound and Sansa? The Those hound. are a little. Not because the Hound says he's out of there. Yeah. Um. And he was offering to take Sansa to Winterfell. Winterfell. Oh, yeah. Honestly, unless, you know, 
Rob gets Winterfell back. Um, it's probably better if Santa goes to the whole area. The Riverlands? Yeah. With Rob? It's probably the more safe area. And then well, Rob was sending uh, Roos's son, uh, Bolton, yeah. if to, go take take, that... to go take Winterfell back. Hmm. Well, let's see. It... We kind of discussed this a little beforehand, but so we didn't necessarily discuss how last episode how Arya what went out, but we don't know where she's going. Mm. Um, we didn't. So I'm gonna assume it's probably best if she goes to find Rob with the other two, <laughs> with her friends. Hot pie and Gendry. Hot pie and Gendry. Yeah. And then it looks How like... How can you forget Hot Pie? I didn't necessarily hear his name oh. ever. <laughs> yeah. But, and then, so, Sansa's now going up. It's no, she said she was staying. She's staying? Yeah, she didn't go with the Hound. She figured she'd be safe with Stannis because she's a Stark. And Ned was the one... Ned died for Stannis. Right. Because Ned was saying that Stannis was the rightful king. He was the only one saying that. She would be safe. but So she feels she'd be safe. Mm. Um, and Tyrion's down. Tyrion's down. So there's that. And that was one of uh, the Lannister men that did it too. Yeah. Trey. Why do you think a Lannister would do that? I don't know. Is Podrick that... saved him though. Yeah. Um. I honestly don't know. That actually that really surprised me. <laughs> Not expecting that. No. Right before Tywin comes in and saves the day. <laughs> Did you notice? I said something, but I don't think you heard me. Um, when they came through the doors, was Cersei and Tommen in there? Mm -hmm. First one through the doors was uh, Loras Tyrell. Loras Tyrell, yeah. The one that was back in Renly. Remember how most of those troops ended up going to Stannis' side, but the Tyrells went back? Yeah. To High Garden? Mm hmm. So that, that... They decided to side with the Lannisters instead. And I saw in another video, on uh, Marco and Allie's video, when I was researching this episode, it's kind of cool when Loras comes in, he's wearing Renly's armor. Yes. Out of respect for Renly. Remember, because he loved Renly. Yeah. But I thought that was cool. And then when I was watching their episode, Heard him talking about it. I was like, oh, interesting. I got to check that out. Sure enough, mm -hmm. he didn't have all the shiny armor that he normally has on. Yep. So, there's that. But that probably, but he first comes in, and I don't know, Cersei probably thought it was the Stannis. Stannis, yeah, that's who she thought it was. That's why they were about to drink the poison. Mm hmm. They were that close. This close. But didn't, like, so. But didn't it happen like he was going to drink and then they came in and then it went down and then uh, she saw Tywin and then it just, you then know. she dropped it. She poured it and then dropped it. Yeah. She probably, uh, probably didn't want Tywin knowing <laughs> that she was about to poison his, you know, grandson. Yeah. So, did we touch on everything? I think I got most of the spots. There was a lot of out of order stuff, but it was all all battle, so <laughs> it was all over the place on this discussion. You got any mm -hmm. questions that may have arose through there? Questions? Yeah. Um, well, Maybe. if you Let's see, Jamie, Jamie's army joined the um, rest of Tywin's. Are we didn't there? Jamie's with Brienne right now. I know, but before he was captured, Jamie, like Jamie's part of the army. 
Oh, his army guy, Rob took that army out. Oh, yeah. Remember they fooled Tywin? Tywin thought everybody was going to him. Nope. Yeah. And they sent 2,000 people to Tywin, and the rest of the 18,000 Stark men went and totally wiped out Jamie's forces and yeah. captured Jamie. So they're wiped out. But <laughs> so if Tywin's army is down there, so. Does that mean so there's no one up in the Riverlands? Yeah, except for Rob. Except for Rob's army, he can move down some. So let's see, if they're all over there, that must have taken like, that took like a week, didn't it? To get from... Oh, if I remember from the other episodes, they said Stannis was four to five days away down to one episode, and then I think they were taken off. Soon after that, so about four days, five days, it's been something like that. Four to five days. To get from Riverlands over to King's Landing. Oh, gee, is they're really. They were close. probably they were probably moving pretty quick. Yeah, but they're really close. Because they knew it was urgent to get there before Stannis got there. If Rob and Rob can move down some, and that and hopefully, um, he can meet up with Arya, Gendry, and what's his face? Hot pie. Hot pie. <laughs> Um, that's how they join in, and then if, um, Rob moves, moves down even farther, and that, and he, it's like, really close, well, then Sansa's, like, this close to joining Arya, Rob, and Kat. Okay, and I got a quick question, I'm sorry. So, Rob's up there. I didn't even think about this before. Yeah. You got all the people protecting King's Landing. Mm -hmm. You got Tywin's forces there. Yeah. You got the Tyrell's forces there. Stannis couldn't bring down King's Landing. You think Rob can? Well... I don't know. Would the Lannisters army outnumber them? Um, teamed up with all the forces in King's Landing. Teamed up with the Tyrells. Yeah. I Kidding. mean, all of them. Does that mean they outnumber um, Rob? Like, by how much? By ways. <laughs> if I remember right way back when, Renly had like 120,000 forces. 120,000? And then when Stannis killed Renly with the Shattered Demon baby, that we haven't seen <coughs> most since. of Renly's forces switched over to Stannis' side because he was still Baratheon. And then it was like five to one for that. Mm hmm. Yeah, they had five to one advantage over King's Landing, and that was before Tywin and uh, Tyrells got there. And Stannis' forces couldn't breach the city. Well, they breached, but they lost. Yeah. So what's that mean for Rob? Rob hasn't lost a battle yet, but with all of those joined forces, oh jeez, <laughs> um, that's probably a problem. <laughs> but I mean, he's this close to getting Sansa, and I mean, once hopefully Arya finds him. Uh, Rob, and that means he, there's only one of the, that's one sister back. He just needs Sansa. He's this close, but, and then he has his brothers way up north, which currently people, um, he sent people to go get Winterfell back. And if they get Winterfell back, then he has two brothers, and then, all they need to do is get Sansa. It's the one problem. They just need <laughs> Sansa. And so far, they're really, really, really outnumbered. Yes. <laughs> That's the big problem. <laughs> they just need Sansa back. And then the whole start... Well, minus Ned. Ned's yeah, dead. Ned's dead. Ned's dead. Um, then they have the whole Stark family back together. This close. This close. All they need to do is get Arya back. Well, all right, that was Blackwater. 
Yep. I think that wraps up the discussion. That little end part was good. I think my brain hurts. My <laughs> brain hurts after this one, eh? It hurts a lot. A lot happened. <laughs> I have a very big headache. We'll probably take a break. I, I need a break before episode 10. Yep, I need a break also. <laughs> but we are going to record episode 10 also tonight. Yep. And release it throughout the next couple of days, and we're going to do a Q&A for season two. Nice. Hopefully on Saturday sometime. So mm -hmm. I got one question I'll be asking for the season, the episode 10 uh, reaction. And then I'll pull the rest of the comments out of the last episode. And any questions that come up in episode 9 and 10, um, we'll throw in that Q&A. And we'll try to do that on Saturday for everybody. Ooh, wait, I got a question. All right, you got a question. What is it? Um... Could possibly the Q the Q and A be live? No, I'm not um, set up. You got to do test runs and all that kind of stuff. I've seen people, it. and I don't know if I got the right software for a live Q and A. Darn it! That that <laughs> would have been cool. Maybe towards the end, I'll figure this computer stuff out. <laughs> yeah. But until then, we got a TV behind us and a camcorder. Yep. <laughs> so. Well, all right, well, we're going to take a break, and then we'll be back at it with episode 10. We probably yes. won't do a recap before episode 10, I don't yeah. imagine. It's all about Blackwater. Yep. It was a big, big battle. Mm -hmm. So anyway, hope everybody enjoyed. Until next time.